All right, let's fire this thing up. Injectors, I've checked them all. This thing's just locked up. So it's done? It's finished. I was afraid of that. I know you and Mike have been band-aiding the generator for the past couple of months. The oil pan on the generator literally was rotted out. They replaced that. The starter motor was bad, and Bert just kind of went through all the injectors. That's not the situation. It's frozen up, and we're at a point where we have to replace the generator. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Braviscus. Down below, we have Bert Dell. Bert, wait to everybody. Say hello. It's great to have you back aboard the boat with us again. And what we're riding around on is our 1980 57-foot custom sport fish. It's called a Monterey. Well, back in 1996, the boat was repowered, and a new generator was put into the actual lazarette hatch. Well, salt water's down there. Corrosion issues have taken place. And we've tried to kind of keep the thing limping along, but now we're at the place where we have to replace things and wait until we show you how to pick a generator for the boat. It's going to be very cool. We're also going to show you how generators get put together. We're going to be doing a factory tour up in Kohler, Wisconsin. And we have that new segment on the program called In the Engine Room that people are just going crazy over. Well, this time, we're going to center the topic around the generator. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the drill by now. You see, we need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us as we're working right here along the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to be pooling together in order to let you in on a few more ways to inevitably make your boat ship shape. So Bert, it's done. Through. Shipshape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show.